Whilst the list of great players to come from Italy is long, one of Roma's greatest ever players, Agostino di Bartolome, is widely considered the greatest player never to be capped by the Azzurri. He spent 12 years playing for Roma, winning multiple honours and amassing over 200 appearances, and he is still fondly remembered by the Roma faithful. However, his life would end in horrific circumstances. This is a story of Agostino di Bartolome, a Roman tragedy. Agostino di Bartolome was born in Rome on the 8th of April 1955 and joined Roma's academy at the age of 14. He quickly rose through the ranks and would make his debut for the senior side in the 72-73 season. After a period on loan with Lana Rossi, upon returning to Roma, he sealed his spot in the senior side. His creativity in a deep midfield role worked wonders for them, as he linked up brilliantly with fellow midfielders Bruno Conti and Falcao. Under emergent of Niels Liedholm, he was appointed captain of the club. He was adored by the Roman faithful, who loved the fact that while their own had risen through the ranks and become club captain. Liedholm was full of praise for his captain, saying he never moved on the pitch without a reason. His passes were long and perfect. He always ran with great elegance, with his head up. In 1980, Di Bartolome experienced a dream moment. Roma defeated Torino on penalties in the Coppa Italia final, with Di Bartolome becoming the first Roma captain to lift a major honour for 11 years. They defeated Torino again in the final the next year, with Di Bartolome scoring a penalty in the second leg. Roma were now sweeping up the honours, but the best was still to come. In 1983, Di Bartolome became only the second captain in history to lead Roma to a Scudetto, as they finished top, four points ahead of Juventus, for their first top flight title since 1942. It was fitting that a boy from Rome be the one with the armband, as the local hero led them to victory. He was well and truly living the dream and the next season they had the opportunity to put on the crowning touch. Roma finished second in the next year's Serie A and won the Coppa Italia again, but it was their European conquest that mattered to them most. Roma entered the European Cup in the first round, where their first opponents were IK Gothenburg of Sweden. They defeated the Swedes 4-2 on aggregate, and two 1-0 wins over CSK Sofia saw them into the quarterfinals. Dynamo Berlin were dispatched next to set up a tie with Jim McLean's Dundee United in the semi-finals. The first leg was a disaster, with Dundee United winning by two goals to nil to put one foot in the final. Roma needed a miracle in the second leg, and their captain would help them get one in the Stadio Olimpico. Two first half goals from Roberto Pruzzo brought Roma back from their ruins, and Di Bartolome had the chance to be the king of Rome. In the 58th minute, Roma were awarded a penalty, and Di Bartolome would be the man to take it. The captain made no mistake as he placed it into the net to complete Roma's comeback. Roma would hold on to seal a place in the European Cup final for the first ever time in their history. Di Bartolome had a chance to conquer Europe. Roma would face Joe Fagan's Liverpool in the final, with the Reds winning the European Cup three times in the previous seven years. The game would be hosted inside the Stadio Olimpico, as Roma looked to win the title in their own backyard. Di Bartolome described it as the game of his life, as he looked to lead his size to history. The game kicked off in front of almost 70,000 spectators. Di Bartolome was on fine form in his biggest moment, dictating play brilliantly in his deep-lying role, as he did so often. Liverpool would take an early lead, but Roma levelled through Pruzzo shortly before half-time. Neither side could find a winner in normal or extra time, and so it would be decided by a penalty shootout. Liverpool would take first, and the stars seemed to be falling into place for Roma as Steve Nicol skied his attempt. Now, it was Roma's turn. Francesco Graziani initially stepped up to take the first kick, but Di Bartolome took the ball from him and netted the penalty himself. Roma lost their advantage though when Liverpool scored and Conti missed, and they were in huge trouble when Graziani missed their third kick. 
Leading 3-2, Liverpool had the chance to seal it through Alan Kennedy. The left-back made no mistake, dispatching his kick to seal the European Cup for Liverpool and break Roman hearts. It was agony for Di Bartolomé, as the final piece of his dream had not been realised, and he would never have another chance to win it for them. Sven Goran Eriksson was appointed Roma manager in 1984, and decided to move Di Bartolomé to AC Milan. The Roma fans are furious at this, openly expressing their opposition. Di Bartolomé would never hit the heights his career had previously done so again, and his dream of being capped for Italy was now dead too. Having constantly had Marco Tardelli prefer to him in midfield, Di Bartolomé would now never wear the famous Azzurri blue. His time in AC Milan was unremarkable, and he was moved on by Rigo Sacchi in 1987. After spells with Cesena and Salernitana, he retired from football in 1990. His post-playing career was not one of joy. Roma had shown little towards him in the way of gratitude, and he struggled to adjust to a non-playing life. A series of failed business ventures saw him face financial ruin, as he also experienced a lengthy battle with depression. An attempt to stay connected to a game by starting a football school failed, and soon he would be disconnected from life itself. In 1994, Agostino di Bartolomé went onto the balcony of his home and took his own life by shooting himself in the heart. In his suicide note, he said he felt locked in a hole with no way out. He was 39 years old. He died on the 30th of May 1994, exactly 10 years after Roma were defeated by Liverpool in the European Cup final. Agostino di Bartolomé is a member of the Roma Hall of Fame, and is described by so many as one of their greatest ever players. He gave the club 12 years of service, as one of only three captains to lead them to a Scudetto. He lived the dream, guiding his local club to glory with the armband on his sleeve. It is a crying shame that he did not get the look in for Italy that he deserved, as it is unlikely there has ever been a greater Italian player never to have been capped. Had Agostino di Bartolomé lifted the European Cup with Roma, his life may have turned out very differently, but nothing will ever take away his status as a Roman god.